it rise to support the noble Lord Lord Mitchell's amendments, 53A and B. Um, I must express my general frustration on this bill. There is so much information here, so much data of national significance that it's clear is going to be abused by the government, whether or not they know they're doing it. The Windrush scandal showed very clearly how badly the Home Office gets things wrong, and the provisions in this bill allow the sharing of people's data which would further the hostile environment policy. I'm very disappointed that the government hasn't brought forward amendments of its own to curtail the broad powers in this bill that will allow for such abuse. There's so many cases of people who are victims of serious crime, of, of rape, violence and people trafficking, who are being reported to the, to, by the police to the Home Office and then being arrested, detained and deported. At least 27 police forces have admitted that they do this. And ministers cannot possibly claim to be learning from these instances, just as they haven't appeared to have learned from the Windrush um, uh, issue as well. And they continue to include such cruel and intrusive powers in this bill. And the fact that the government get th can get things so horribly wrong is why this amendment should be included. Data's We've heard this, uh, that data is more valuable than oil. It's more valuable than oil and gold. It's the boom industry of our times. And the temptations for government to allow its exploitation by the commercial sector, the predatory big tech organisations that the noble Lord Lord Mitchell referred to, its exploitation by the commercial sector will be overwhelming, especially in this age of austerity when money appears to be so short. And it's not just an issue of exploitation in a negative sense. There are lots of opportunities for government data to be used to empower communities. We can do things like monitor air pollution and hold the government to account by using this data. <coughs> and I'm excited for those opportunities, but they need proper <coughs> regulatory oversight to ensure that it's used for good. The controlling and processing of nationally important data must be properly overseen by the Information Commissioner and the National Audit Office. The Government recognised this in the Bill as originally drafted, and I don't understand why it was removed. Perhaps the Minister could, could say. Um, I really do hope the Minister will be supporting these amendments, but I rather suspect he won't. <laughs>